Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Plant Recap. My name is Chuck. As you can tell from my outfit, I've been gardening and I'm taking a break right now because it started showering. And I figured, why don't I do the recap now? And to start the recap, I'm going to look at episode 80, which is broken down into two. The first part is titled Measuring and Cutting. And I'm looking at the comments now. There's a few comments here. First one is from Zanizana66. Your fence must be crooked. <laughs> Good catch. You're exactly right. I, it was quite annoying and I tried putting the level on top of it just to make sure. And yes, it's definitely crooked. It's throwing me off, you know, when it comes to doing my own measurements, but at least, but it's a good thing I have my spirit levels. That way I know uh, the planter that I'm working on is straight. From Tonti Vergara, no cement on the post, Chuck. Won't it move later on? I don't need to use cement here because the entire thing is heavy. It's three layers high and by using uh, rigid materials like rocks and the soil, the soil where it is right now is actually made of clay. As long as I bear, as long as I bury enough of the post, then it would be fairly sturdy. And since the whole thing is heavy, gravity and friction will hold the thing together. From Kathy Gilbreth, enjoy seeing you building things step by step, makes it easier for us beginners. That's what Let's Plant is all about. <laughs> and for part two, I called it putting it all together. So the first comment is from Iza Sidlowska. Hi Chuck. Wow, you've been working hard. It looks amazing. Thank you so much Iza. I'm rushing to get it done because I am going to use it as my propagation planter. On one side, maybe one half would be uh, my, my cuttings, not, just, not leaf cuttings, but cuttings, larger seedlings. And on the other side, where it is more shaded would be for the leaf cuttings. And the reason why I'm rushing it now is because this is the final month of winter in Australia. And it, the days are starting to get longer. And by spring, I would be ramping up my propagation. So I'll be going overdrive as soon as it gets a bit warmer. From Kathy Gilbreth, looks great. Always good to see Zach and his little blue watering can. He loves to be outside with you. Yeah, uh, he definitely loves the outdoors. And we got my wife annoyed the other day because he was wearing his gardening boots and he was with me uh, right at the back of the planter and the soil there was made of clay. So both our shoes and he, my shoes and his boots were really dirty. <laughs> We couldn't, we couldn't bring his boots indoors, so. But Zach is used to removing his shoes after going inside the house, so there was a little trail of mud. <laughs> we had to clean it. <clears throat> From Aneta S, such a great effort to get some time to build it whole, but don't you stop. First, I thought you will use cement for filling holes, but rocks will also do if you haven't got their heavy rains. Yes, Zach, a little helper, is so cute in this video. Yes, like I mentioned to Tonti, I am not using cement because gravity and friction would be more than enough to hold them together, especially since the whole thing is heavy, being three layers high. From Julie Seal, must say I'm really appreciating the improved quality of the vids. You must be working really hard on them. Important question though. Merchandise, please. Little cute succulent pots and t-shirts that say things like it's a lovely day today or bad dad jokes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julie. Uh, this is... I really appreciate I really appreciate your comment because I've been thinking for quite a while now on creating prints like posters or calendars or little postcards because one of my hobbies, aside from gardening, is photography and I love taking photos of my plants so I think some prints would be nice. But now that you mentioned shirts and maybe pots and dad jokes, this is definitely something that I can do. So we'll see. I, and I must let all of you know that the first anniversary of Let's Plant is coming up. I started Let's Plant September last year 
it's August now, so I'm thinking there must be something that I could do for the first anniversary. So Julie's ideas might be something I can do for a giveaway or something. I don't know. We'll see. And I'd like to be able to do something that I could, you know, send internationally as well. And that definitely uh, leaves out plants. I can send plants everywhere. So prints or shirts, something like that might do. So keep a lookout. I might work on something. Who knows? <clears throat> From Christine Oberg. I don't understand why you don't do gutter gardening on the fence. Do you not own the fence? That is a great real estate and looks great with the succulents in there. I agree with you. I don't want to waste the fence. And it's something that I'll be doing at some point in the future. Just not right now. Because right now, I like working on the ground. There's lots of space on the ground. So as soon as I run out of space uh, along the fence, then I'll start working on the fence. I'll just have to figure out how to add supports to it so it won't topple over because these fences are quite old so I might have to create some I don't know support uprights or something or even rather than mounting on the fence directly I could create a some sort of frame where I can mount my my hanging plants or succulents and planters we will see apart from that I had a couple of live stream sessions uh, and thank you if you managed to make it to either one of those. I had lots of fun. It's my first time live streaming and I had a, I had a little case of stage fright at first but I got through it in the end. <laughs> Thanks to your help because you are all so lovely people. I was only thinking I was initially thinking of just showing you a behind the scenes of how I film stuff but it was uh, but it was a bit cloudy and at times uh, at th and at some point during the live stream it was even showering so I decided not to do it because by doing that I would need to keep the camera outside my SLR which I'm filming on right now and my camera is weatherproof but I don't want to risk it so so the behind the scenes was only a brief you know, showing you my camera setup, the tripod, and the area that I was filming. But I did end up giving you, but I did up giving up, but I did end up giving a tour of the garden, both uh, the back and the front. And and I've also shared my plans for the near future, which is to focus on propagation. There has been a few questions during the live stream about propagation, about seeds and stuff and I happily answered some of the questions based on what I know and one of the questions there was how do you propagate from seeds and I relayed that I tried, I tried and I relayed that I tried twice my first attempt was not so successful my second attempt germinated successfully but I was not able to maintain and take care of the seedlings because at the time, Nikki, my daughter, my second child, she was she was born. It was around December, and December is summer in Australia, which means that the the soil, the the seedlings, they dried out really fast. When I did, and that's only after a few days of neglecting them, because during that time I was at the hospital with my wife, so I never had the chance to look after them or maintain the humidity on the soil from the planters from the seedlings so i guess that means i just have to try again expect uh expect a series on this propagations i i won't likely include it in let's plant or maybe i could just show the first part in let's plant and i'll create follow-up videos as standalone videos because waiting for seeds to germinate takes time. And it has started it has stopped raining now. I better get back to gardening because I wouldn't want to waste this sunlight. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.